Hello, we are going to talk about coronavirus and diabetes today. I know uh, you guys with diabetes are wondering uh, what to do with this coronavirus. I've been getting a lot of patients in my practice as well uh, regarding coronavirus uh, and we are going to talk about uh, what coronavirus is and how to avoid uh, getting coronavirus and if you do get a coronavirus really what you should do as a diabetic. Now, number one, as a diabetic, you are really at high risk for, for coronavirus. So um, basically, uh, what you need to do is uh, stay away from the public areas that, that you have close contact with people. Uh, moreover, uh, if you are hand shaking, try not to, but if you do, make sure you have frequent hand washing. The hand washing techniques are very important as well. If you are just uh, washing the palm of your hand and you, you are avoiding the back of your hand, that may be a problem. So try to pay attention to wash your hand thoroughly. Um, and try to disinfect uh, the areas that other people may be touching, uh, especially in metro areas where there's a lot of traffic. Um, and try to keep a distance from other people who especially uh, may have signs of uh, sickness. Uh, so if you can try to keep your personal hygiene and try to keep yourself away from people, especially people that you do not know, uh, that may be a good step to start. Uh, coronavirus can be contagious even uh, when patients are asymptomatic and then you may end up getting symptoms 2 to 14 days after exposure. Um, so what do you do really after you get a coronavirus? So hopefully you never get it by avoiding the problem. However, if you do get it, uh, you need to first of all self-quarantine yourself. Uh, make sure that you do not go to work. Make sure that you do not go outside of your house unless it's absolutely necessary. Uh, make sure you wear a mask so you do not actually infect other people. And tight-fitting masks are generally more helpful, uh, uh, but, uh, but also the contact can happen through the eyes as well. So you have to pay attention to wearing some eye uh, protection as well. Um, now you do not need to wear a mask and eye protection just to try to get protected from the disease but if you have it uh, you should um, wear it so that you do not infect other people uh, but also it is more recommended to stay isolated so you do not really have any contact with other people. Again the disease spreads very quickly it tends to affect people with chronic conditions like diabetes. So as a result, if you have diabetes, uh, you may be at higher risk of getting the disease and God forbid, uh, uh, dying from the disease is also highly likely. Now, if you have travel plans, I would recommend to postpone those plans, at least until this problem goes away. It may not happen in the next few months, so maybe delay your, uh, your travel plans for at least around six months or so. Um, to be on the safe side, especially if you're going for a cruise, uh, if you are traveling by airplane, you should definitely halt your plans. Um, in terms of uh, driving around, I think you're still safe. However, I would not go to areas that you do not know about the uh, coronavirus situation. Uh, and I would definitely do not go into public places where a lot of people cluster together. Uh, since you cannot really uh, avoid staying away from people coughing and sneezing and, and so forth. The symptoms are generally coughing. It could be uh, fever. And if you have a fever, you will really feel run down and it's going to feel like flu. And the symptoms of coronavirus actually is worse than the flu and the death rate is more than the flu. So as a result, uh, if you feel like you are having any sort of cold symptoms, uh, you don't have to have a fever. I think you should uh, isolate yourself, uh, get tested if you can get tested for coronavirus. Uh, it is becoming more and more available. But I think as a patient with diabetes, your priority is to avoid getting the disease. Uh, and if you do have the disease, uh, make sure you uh, stay at home, hydrate yourself, uh, make sure you rest, uh, try not to work. Um, and then if your symptoms get worse, you start getting shortness of breath, and uh, productive cough and so forth, you should definitely go to hospital. Uh, if you are running a fever, that's another indication for you to go to the hospital. These things can go to your lungs, can turn into pneumonia, and can turn into septic shock, and that's how these people uh, tend, to, um, tend to die from coronavirus. 
that people with diabetes and other chronic health conditions have suppressed immune system and are more prone to be defeated to the coronavirus. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, concerns, please let us know and I hope you can pass the season uh, with no problems. Um, don't panic, just um, stay, uh, stay with, uh, pay attention to your hygiene, uh, stay away from other people with uh, possible symptoms. If you know somebody who had coronavirus that you had a contact with, it may not be a bad idea at all to isolate yourself, even if you are not symptomatic at that time. Uh, now, also, one more last thing. If you have diabetes and you have coronavirus, your body will start creating stress response. You may have a lot of internal steroids running in your system, or your doctor may prescribe steroids Whatever the reason it may be, the stress in your body will cause high blood sugars. For type 1 diabetics, that means that you need to monitor your blood sugars more often, monitor your ketones if your blood sugars are running high, and stay hydrated. That's very important. For patients with type 2 diabetes, uh, you still need to monitor your blood sugars, and if it's going high, if you're on insulin with type 2 diabetes, you may want to use more insulin. Uh, consult with your doctor to see how much more insulin you, uh, you may need. Again, monitoring for ketones is uh, necessary for type 2. Uh, if the blood sugars are going really, really high, about 400, 500. For type 1 diabetics, that is about 250 uh, blood sugar. But for type 2 diabetics, I think you should start monitoring your ketones if it is more than 400, 500. And you should not be staying at 400, 500 levels. Uh, so please contact your endocrinologist or diabetes specialist to make sure that your blood sugar is under control immediately. If you do not have a sliding scale insulin or any other medication that can bring your blood sugars down very quickly, uh, then, then and then if you're not able to achieve your, uh, get to your doctor on time, you may wanna go to ER before it's too late as well. Again, remember, when you are sick from any condition, doesn't have to be coronavirus, uh, your body may need uh, more uh, medication, more insulin if you're on insulin, uh, in order to control your uh, blood sugars. And not everybody responds the same. If your appetite goes down so much that you don't eat anything, uh, that may also cause low blood sugars, especially if you're on, on certain agents that can uh, trigger a low blood sugar. So the bottom line is monitoring more often, at least four or five times a day, will uh, give you at least an idea about where you're, where you're standing in terms of your blood sugars. Again, thank you for watching and I hope you can uh, pass the season uh, with uh, health and happiness.